welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Game four set to go tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Can't connect as it goes off the stick. Her team's going to hang on for a whistle. to try to slow things down here. On the attack along the boards. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. Puts it towards the net. Big time save. Oh my goodness. Well, go technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Hammers a shot. And that's broken up. Picked up along the wall by Chris Oba. The Panthers have it in the offensive end. And that carries off a stick. From center, they get into the attacking area. Moves around along the half wall. Oh, and he teed off on that the wrong direction. Well, we could hear him call for that one-timer, James. We knew he wanted it. And, man, that puck came across, and I don't think it was in his wheelhouse, and he healed it. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Shot! Big stop just as time expires in the period. There's the horn for period number one. As it comes to an end, we've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Who will be the first to light the lamp here as play gets underway in the second? Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Tornadoes have generated a ton of us. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. He's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Well, you can just see the infectious energy that goes throughout this entire lineup when he scores. That's a true testament to his leadership and what he means to this group. Nizhny Novgorod's finally got the game's first goal here in the second period, and it's not for a lack of try. Yeah, they played extremely well throughout this game so far, James. I mean, they've had multiple opportunities to score, and finally they get one. I think they can take a deep sigh of relief and get going. Well, it looked like he did. You can just see that inside leg just bear down the bottom hip. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. The Panthers have even things up here in period number two. We got ourselves a new game. Yeah, you love these games that go back and forth, and they've worked hard to get to this point, and now they got the equalizer. Giddy up. Rush has won the draw in the neutral zone. Passes it to Bracco. From the left side, takes the pass. Lugs the puck into the offensive side corner. He scores! And does he ever? You know what's amazing, James? Every time he scores, it's like the entire Elevates. Why? Because he is a leader on this team. He shows it on the ice and, of course, by example, off of it. Well, some players are just blue players. They make everyone around them better, and he is one of those, James. I mean, his ability to create and pass the puck is unbelievable. He knows where everyone is on the ice. He can manipulate coverage, and that pass is just a clear display of his skill. The Tornadoes are up by one here in period number two. Uh, and these are the games you have to learn how to win. You know that this is going to be a dogfight right to the end, and it's going to be the details that make all the difference in the world. Nizhny Novgorod's won the faceoff at center. The Panthers take it along the wall. Here he is, wrists it on net, and that's off target as it hits a body. Here he is with the backhander. Stop that one. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Tough spot to be in. You need the 
momentum and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Nizhny Novgorod's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Larionov's going to play against the half wall. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but perfect. Oh, it was a stoppage. That pin of glass got cracked after that heavy, heavy shot. Uh, it's all about safety first here, James, and they're going to make sure that they replace that pain. You know, if it's spidered, if it's cracked, and another shot comes or a big hit, that'll send it through to the fans. Nizhny Novgorod's got it, and they're on the attack. Nizhny Novgorod's now up by two here in the second. And, you know, Cheryl, I really like their game tonight. Yeah, they've been fast in all three zones. And they've been skiing downhill in the offensive zone. That means they're attacking the net and they're getting a majority of the shots. And they've been rewarded, James. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Into the corner of the attacking area. Dropped him in the open ice. And that somehow stayed out of the net. The goaltender is very Scores! Make it three in a row. One defensive breakdown just leads to another and a huge opportunity for the opposing team, and it winds up in the back of your net. Nizhny Novgorod's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here, period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. That was amazing. What a save by Huska. Well, leadership comes in different ways, and typically he scores on these opportunities, and he elevates his entire team. Well, the goaltender shut the door and didn't allow it to happen. Through center. Fires it on net. Big time stop. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. been excellent tonight but he's faced a ton of shots lucky he's dialed in and been making the saves because their run and gun style could catch up with them opening face off for period number three is ready to go they've dropped the puck here in the third and it's going to blow out thus far let's see if there's any sort of response well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Nizhny Novgorod's been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead. Now it's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. Cutting to the front of the net. Comes up with the stop. Huska's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Big save in front. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Fires 
Joseph. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Slides the puck over to Graham. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I would want to be along those boards either. Oh, my God. but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Tornadoes are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving, holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Standing tall with the save. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Rush has got the puck in the defensive end. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Here he is in close. Here's the shot. Oh, what a close save. 